When a tracheostomy tube is introduced, the functions of the airway can be dramatically changed. Some tracheostomy tubes have a cuff to assure that all air moves in and out through the tracheostomy tube during mechanical ventilation. Proper cuff inflation should be maintained at all times. Overinflation of the cuff can cause many complications, including necrosis and trauma to the delicate tracheal tissues, as well as esophageal impingement with possible swallowing difficulty and reflux. Proper cuff inflation is best achieved by measuring the pressure in the cuff with a manometer. Even with proper cuff inflation, complications arise when airflow bypasses the upper airway, mouth, and nose. Normal sensation and airway pressures are lost. As a result, tracheostomized patients have diminished or absent functions of the aerodigestive tract. Absence of airflow through the vocal folds leaves patients without the ability to speak, causing significant frustration, anxiety, and distress. For children, losing the ability to use their voice during the critical early years of development can lead to significant speech and language delays. Patients with tracheostomies also have reduced senses of smell and taste, which can lead to poor appetite and compromised nutritional status sometimes requiring supplemental feeding through a nasogastric or PEG tube. In addition, many of these patients have difficulty swallowing and aspirate. The cuffed tracheostomy tube may anchor the larynx, interfering with laryngeal elevation, epiglottis inversion, and airway protection. Because air escapes through the tracheostomy tube when the vocal folds close, positive subglottic pressures cannot be generated during swallowing. Reduced sensation in the larynx and pharynx leads to pooling of material in the airway and also reduces the protective cough reflex, which is necessary to clear the larynx and trachea when penetration and aspiration occur. When patients are unable to breathe through their nose, they are unable to filter, warm, and humidify the air. This has an impact on the quantity and quality of their secretions. Because patients cannot sense these secretions and generate the necessary pressures to cough, secretions accumulate in the airways, requiring suctioning by a caregiver and increased risk of trauma and infections. An open tracheostomy tube does not allow a patient to generate positive end expiratory pressure or physiologic PEEP. Without PEEP, the alveoli, which are the sacs of air in the lungs through which gases are exchanged, can collapse, causing atelectasis. Significant atelectasis results in decreased ventilation and oxygenation.